Unmuting. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Alright, tonight will probably be the last stream of Luigi's Mansion, because we are actually very close to the end of the game. Alright, uh, so in this room over here on the right, we've got to deal with one last uh, ghost of the mansion. It's soupy. Do you grab water? Uh, I need to do that. Uh, let's see. Oh god, Coke feet is lagging out. Oh, is it? I'll go ahead and close it then. I close it. Yeah. Might help. Alright. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Where would be a good place to get some water? Uh,. I am on the second floor right now. Kitchen, I guess? Oh, that'll be on the first floor. Mm. The bathroom, maybe. Right! Uh... Yeah, the bathroom, bathroom could be a place to get some, at least. There we go. All right. Okay. Oh, this room is upside down. Do not try to wake me. Go away! Alright. All right, so I just uh, spray her with water, or? Yeah, you spray her with water, because you have to make her bed all wet. Because her name is Sue P, get it? Ha. Uh. <laughs> Damn it! Uh. Well, I certainly wasn't gonna. Whoop! I also find it kind of a neat touch that uh, she's also, like, flying upside down. Yeah. There we go. Now the question is... How do I get that? Was there? S I'm trying to remember what it is I have to do in order to. Or you have to leave the room, and then it'll, you'll hear like thudding, and it'll have shifted, and you can come back in. Up. Oh, that must be it. Yeah. And now. Lots of money! 
and a diamond. So that is regular diamond number five. All right. Yeah, I needed that health. I'm the lovely Bonita. Okay, and moved over to the guest room. You mean boo. You mean boo. boo Nita, not bo Nita. Yeah, I meant to say boo Nita. You got the name mixed up. You got the name mixed up with the actual word. There we go. Okay. And... Okay, no other boo here. I think the last boo and king boo are downstairs. Because, yeah. <laughs> let's see... Yeah, the key I have is to that last room in the basement. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Before I go any further, there should be... There we go. Okay, so... Uh, I believe I got Bamboo, Bootha, Game Boo Advance... Taboo, Bulicious, Turbo, Bulala, Game Boo. Pretty sure I got Kung Boo. Did I get Boogie already? Well, how many boos do you have? Forty nine. I have no fucking clue, then, love. That's why I'm looking at this list. Let's see. Uh, Peekaboo, Gumboo, Boomio, Boodacious, Booligan. Yeah, no, now that I... Now that I think... Uh, oh, sorry. I believe the booze can actually go to the hallway right before King Boo. Like that stone, that, uh, uh, yeah. serpentine stone hallway. Oh, yeah. I, I've just, I'm just, I'm just checking the list, like, I'm just checking the list, like, one last time before. Okay, doesn't, let's see. Doesn't really matter. You just need to find the room they're in. Let's see. Boo Regard, Boo Jangles, Limbooger, Boonswoggle, Boo Hoo, Shambu, Booris, Boo Ouija, Little Boo Peep, Booby Hatch, Boo Repeaties. Boo Repeaties gave me a little trouble. Uh, Boomerang, Boozcaster, Bolivia, Bonita, Underboo, Tambourine, Buffont, Boolerdash. Oh no, uh, Boutique. Huh. 
So your sure boutique is going to be in the exact same spot that it would start in? No, 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 no. I'm I'm checking the list, and I'm pretty sure I already got boutique. Okay, I'm just asking you about uh, just about the boo in general. How do you know they're going to be in the exact same spot that they normally would be in? <sighs> I, I'm mainly looking over the list so that I can try to remember by name and retrace steps. Not necessarily oh. looking for the original room they were in, but trying to remember where they went. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that, that, that was the logic... Huh. Let's see. Du, 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 du. <sighs> Trivia. All booze names are clues or puns. You don't say. You can't figure out which one it is, I'm guessing. Uh... Taking a double look. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 35, and then, 15, and then the other 15 were, um, the other 15 yeah, the were losses, losses. yeah, like, so. I guess we'll just got to check every room if you can't remember, if you can't trace the steps. Uh, all right. Uh, you know what? Let's start at the end and go backwards. No, no, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. The worst that's going to happen is... I start at the end and go backwards is that I find the boo and I'm already near the end of the game. When I'm in the end of the list, I'm like, whoa, come on. If... <laughs> you should say work my way backwards through the mansion. Start at the end, work your way backwards, because normally some of you stay about a list. Yeah, okay, so nothing in the cold storage. Uh, remember, you should also check the hallway leading to King Boo's room. Yeah. Like, Past the cold storage, there is that winding uh, stone corridor. Uh, yep. Yeah, boo, boo can go in there, and it is frustrating. Well, no boo in here, but. Hmm. No boo in here, but something to keep in mind. Alright. And the pathway to the final room is open. No, no, no. Go into this room. Ah, it was in the pipe room. Ah. He, he was just he was just having a smoke. Not that kind of pipe. This day and age, what, do you think, what else do you think I would think about when you say pipe room? Oh right! I forgot I didn't quite catch a uh, boulder dash. There 
There we go. You're busting out all kinds of wild techniques today. And that was the last one. We got the second gold diamond. Now uh. go save the toad immediately! Yep, yep, yep. One seventy three. It's not terrible. I think I actually can have that ice cream now. Yeah. Hmm. I want to. Do I want to have that ice cream now? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm losing my sweet tooth. No, not the sweet tooth. I'm losing because I'm like, okay, my blood sugar is 173. I could have half a bowl of ice cream now, at least safely. Ugh. But it's like, do I want to at this point? Okay. I stopped thinking about having another bowl of like tortilla chips with salsa, even though I've had three today and it's like oh my god i'm losing my sweet tooth in favor of a spice tooth what's uh, going on with me all right so i saved t with toad and i'm safe stating here all right i can go get more tomorrow do 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 I guess I really just can't have much of a sweet tooth anymore, given that I can't have much sweet stuff anymore other than fruit. Uh, oh. truly the worst torture. Yeah, so my taste buds are changing to reflect uh, what my new diet would have to be. Freaking. That was obnoxious. Okay. Whew. Here we go. So. I've got one red diamond, two gold diamonds, five regular diamonds, seven blue stones, seven red, uh, green stones, five red stones. 94 small. This must be 10 of each. Yeah. This must be 10 of each stone, so you missed a few, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 94 small pearls. 61 medium pearls. 13 big pearls. Uh. 859 coins. 908 bills. 41 gold bars. Bullion. The dozing girl, Sue P, seven years old. What was meant to be a short nap seems to have turned into eternal rest for sweet Sue P. Oh god, that is dark. Mm hmm Darkest sketch, darkest sketch, darkest sketch, darkest sketch, darkest sketch, darkest sketch, darkest sketch. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, uh... So we've got all the ghosts on the list. We've got as much treasure as we could, so... Yeah. My question to you, love, right now is... Salsa. Chunky? Or... Non-chunky? Eh... Uh, Non-chunky. I'm not too much of a salsa... I'm not too much of a salsa person anyway, but... Non-chunky. Give me a love of cheese, I'm guessing you prefer, uh... Queso. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Here we are, the spade door. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I am a I am a salsa kind of girl now. Yeah. <sighs> oh, 
our child, our future child will have to choose spicy or cheesy. All right. Moving to engage. Got my best suit and my tie. That's the one you wear on annual dates. <laughs> I was more referencing Dead Man's Party, but okay. And I and I and I retorted. Anyway, ah, I could just stare at my Mario painting for hours. It's true what they say about fine art. It takes utterly refined sensibilities to truly appreciate it. The way you plead for help, Mario. I find it so... satisfying. Perhaps that is merely because I remember how much trouble you've caused me in the past. Seriously, though, who would actually believe that mansions get given away in contests? <laughs> Talk about stupid. What did they feed you, Mario Brothers, anyway? Gullible soup? Your brother came all this way just to get turned into a painting. It's just terrific. <laughs> However, this Mario painting looks lonely. I must have a Luigi painting as well. Then my gallery will truly be complete. <laughs> I am not afraid of you, fool. I fear only that infernal Poltergeist 3000 you carry on your back. Stupid machine. But I am a king among booze. I swear it. I shall fear no mere house cleaning device. I must say, I despise the way you vacuumed up all my friends. Don't imagine that I'll flee. I'll fight you like a true boo. Now join your brother inside the painting. Also, for reference, I hope Remy un understands this. I don't really care if he wears some fancy to dates, anyways. I'm much more casual type myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of casual myself, you know, so. Oh! <coughs> oh boy! Why be, un why be uncomfortable when you're on a date? Why don't you wear. Like, I'm much more of a sneaker, I'm much more of a sneakers and mini skirt kind of girl than a, like, gown dress and heels. Well, there's a Bowser. Don't know, still don't know how that makes sense. Yep, that's Bowser. He's even got the fire breath. <clears throat> Okay. Uh. Trying to remember. It's been a bit. Uh, let's see. When Bowser into the spike balls, you need to pick. You suck one up with the poltergeist and shoot it into his mouth when he cleans down the bridge fire again. Right. Okay. I'll blow his head off and expose King ah, Boo within. God damn it. And King Boo has King Boo has 500 HP. There we go. Yeah, King Boo has 500 HP, but thankfully bleeds like a stuck pig. I noticed. I got a good portion of that out of there. Now, there are two theories as to when this game takes place. The first is one posited mainly by Acer Chugga of Conroy, if you may know him. Uh huh. Think about my kids. This game takes place Ow. soon after the events of Mario Sunshine, given the uh, the whole 
thing was King Boo specifically having God a vendetta against Mario. And uh, the only other and the first game where Mario fights anything called a King Boo is Sunshine. It doesn't really make sense given that that King Boo and this one look and act completely differently. The other theory is that this game takes place effectively at the at or near the end of the Mario timeline. And Bowser is dead. And that's who King Boo is. But that is Bowser's boo. He's Bowser's restless spirit. Dang it. Nope, 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 nope. Oof. I, I asked you, my love. Which do you think is, is more probable to That King Boo is Bowser's fucking ghost? Or that uh, somehow this is the same King Boo from Mario Sunshine who looks, acts, and is hurt by completely different, looks differently, accidentally, and took by completely different things than he was back then. God damn it. Ah. Oh. Ah, no, 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 damn it. Oh. And I'm dead. Oh, by the way. We actually get to see the good, uh, the game over screen there. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I was kind of focusing on the Bowser fight, and, uh, I got my ass handed to me. Alright. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, there would have to be... All right, one of these vases has to have a heart. Uh, gold bar, I'll take that. What the? Remember, love. Inside Chauncey's room, every time you close the game and reopen it, hmm. is a heart in his chest, a large heart that should heal you by 50. Right, right, right. Well, I only needed five, but... So you're saying you went into the final boss without full HP? It was 95 HP. It's the final boss. <laughs> Tease about the scratch. There were a few coins I missed anyway. Oh wait, nope, that's the twins room. There it is. Uh, Having a half a bowl of ice cream after all? Vanilla is very tasty. Mm. 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 You don't like vanilla? Uh, vanilla's alright, like, as it especially goes well in a root beer float. I. I miss those. I can't have soda anymore. Lance, do, Lance, do you have the itchies? Take two. Alright. 
So one thing I'd like to point out about the Luigi's Mansion timeline placement theories is that it's possible this game takes place after Mario 64. Why? Well... Okay. I mean, I guess it kind of makes place... It makes sense that it takes place after Mario 64, not just because it's a GameCube game, but because, uh... I mean, where else would King Boo have gotten the idea to use paintings? Uh, from, from EGAD, given it was EGAD's machine he used? Well, yeah, but again... That could have been, like, after the fact. No, because it... Remember, the story that King Boo specifically used paintings to get back at EGAD. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, like, after... Uh, wait, no, actually, you might be... You might be right on that. No. Now remember, remember that King, that Dad said specifically that King Boo rallied all the Boos to attack him and undo the portification that the mm. portificationization of the ghosts after Brulasis was taken down, and then used the machine to turn Mario into a painting as revenge for some slight in the past. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This game was originally planned for the N64, and Madame Clairvoya mentions how she thought Mario defeated Bowser. Some like to say Paper Mario, but the Paper Mario games are kind of a spin-off, so I'm not really sure about their canonicity. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it obviously takes place after 64. The question is, what point in the timeline? Yeah. Is it a direct sequel to Sunshine, or is it after a supposed death of Bowser. I always thought... I, I thought it was brought up that it was... This was, um... What was it? Sunshine was a prequel or something? That's... That's Chaga's theory. I, I would say in the timeline, Luigi's Mansion and Mario Sunshine are obviously very close because both were around the time that EGAD was starting to get known. Also, the fact that, uh, both of them, you, both of them, uh, the main antagonist uses a device invented by Alvin and Gad. Because, you know, Sunshine is a paintbrush. In this game, is a ghost fortificationizer. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, take two. Ah, come on! Like, the fact that Gad was going to give Bowser Jr., someone who is very clearly Bowser's son, the, the paintbrush is, is wild to me. It's like, motherfucker, did, did you not know the Bowser family? I would like to think that basically, um, Bowser Jr. pulled a Pokemon Silver and just straight up stole it. No, Bowser Jr. says that it was give that a strange man in a white coat gave it to him. For all that we know, for all we know, Bowser Jr. could be lying. The fact of the matter is that Bowser Jr. at the time believed he was the hero. Why would he feel the need to lie? Uh, come on, come on. At the time, about you know, at the time, Junior thought Not that Mario was the bad guy, and that his dad was the hero, like fighting the good fight. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. You get some criminal yet? It's not that he was deemed criminal. He keeps using the fire breath instead of the vortex breath. God damn it. And then, of course, by the time he uses the Vortex Breath, the bombs already exploded. Uh, don't you hate when bosses are being smart? Ugh. Assholery. And then he uses the Fire Breath twice in a row.
God damn it. Screw this, I'm a going home. Like, I'm just running that far away from him. I mean, remember, at the end of the game, Luigi gets a home. Ah, crap! It's interesting that apparently, I believe it's the C or B ending uh, house is canon. Because that's the one Luigi has in the next game. Ow. There we go. One other N64 related piece of evidence is the fact in Mario 64 the ghost house is kind of a mansion, and the mansion here was created by the Boos. This, along with other times Mario fought the Boos, such as in Mario 3 and Super Mario World, would be what King Boo means when he says Mario caused so much trouble for him without ever, ha without ever having battled him before. No, yeah. cause see, that wasn't King Boo, that was Big Boo. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, but in one of the later Mario Kart games, he has the mansion, but I think that mansion is based on the best rank for the 3DS version. Ah. Uh, yes. That's also, again, uh, Big Boo's haunt in 64 is Big Boo's haunt, not King Boo's haunt. It's mm. not King Boo there. I was just saying, Big Boo somehow became a king. <laughs> Big Boo was the one that instilled a monarchy among the other Boos. <laughs> Goddamn. And the best part is, because they're already dead, no need to worry about employing the guillotine. <laughs> All right. I got about a hundred that round, so that's a bit better. That hit didn't register. Also, who's saying these things to us? Uh, MSO. Ah, he's in the God damn it! I don't remember the hitboxes on those spike balls being so picky. I couldn't get anywhere near the spike balls. There we go. Welcome to your hell. Okay. Also a bit of a hint for this boss, Silver. Go ahead, MSO. I think I've kind of figured it out for now, but... There we go! Crap! 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 
crap, 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 crap. Okay, a little more than halfway through. Okay. 118 health left. I can do this and he's got the head on backwards now. Uh, so he will be running rampant blind. Charging everywhere. Gotcha. Okay. Ow. I was facing the other direction! Dang it. I botched that. Five health left. I have save states, but... just shifted one of those pillars to the side. Yeah, no, he wrecks those. Almost got him, almost got him, got him! You did it! Truly remarkable, my boy. I supplied the Poltergeist 3000, but you ran with it all the way to the top, Sonny. You've made me so <laughs> proud. <laughs> get, get a hold of yourself, Cad. What's that? You found King Boo? He jumped into a painting of Bowser, you say? He even blew fire at you. Well, well. In all my years of ghost research, I've never heard such a fantastical tale. And that career spans 60 years, mind you. Why, I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say. Oh, beg your pardon. This old brain goes recollecting every now and then. I could sit down and fill a week spinning ghost yarns. Why, just less... Right. <clears throat> well, anywho, Luigi. Grab your brother's painting and bring him to the lab. <laughs> Poor little feather's fallen asleep. He must have just collapsed with relief and exhaustion when he saw you arrive. I'll get the machine ready to return your brother to his former state already. I'll be expecting you both. We did it! Don't you just, don't you just love it when you're already stressed so your sensory issues are more easily triggered and you push your chair in and it screeches. Uh, yeah. This... <laughs> This'll mess with your head. All your hard work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. The mansion those booze built disappeared into the night. But that treasure seems to be real. I have no interest in such stuff, so go on and keep it all. Use it however you like. Did that Oh my god, that landed right in my... So that's my chair. 
air. Instead, landed in the middle of my hamper. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Call me! <laughs> Say what? Enough rattling on about money? I guess we'd better get your brother back then. Of course, your brother's really important. <laughs> Luigi may be green, but he do not. But he is not greedy. That would be Waluigi. <laughs> Wario. Yeah, I mean. Your brother may be important, but first we have to take care of these last ghosts. All right, let's see what we got. Uh. And this time we even got a Bowser head in there. Yeah, so fun fact about Luigi picking up that crown. Rubies are worth 5,000 gold. Because you're forced to pick it up, the lowest amount of money you can end the game with is 5,000 gold. I mean, it's not a ruby, that's a red diamond. Or, I, th I think that's what he meant. Yeah. Uh, got a silver... There's a ruby in this game. There are red stones and red diamonds. Gold on Van Gore. Gold on, uh... Uncle Grim. Gold on the Clockwork Soldiers. Eh, uh, bronze on, uh, that ghost in the cold storage. Huh. I'd wager dollars to donuts that nobody but me has such lovely paintings. <laughs> All right. Uncle Grimly, Jarvis, Vincent Van Gore, Sue P, the Clockwork Soldiers, Sir Weston, and King Boo. I believe no matter what, King Boo will be a golden painting. Uh, the frame of that painting looks pretty red. Are you sure? Yeah, be yeah it's because the final boss, uh, he his painting is always the same. Oh, I guess that makes sense. No, King Boo has so bronze he, and silver he, variants as well. Does, does he? It looks like I got the bronze variant. Uh, well... Dude, getting bronze on the final boss isn't anything to be ashamed of. I mean, it, it is the final boss. boss. <laughs> Caught a total of 23 ghosts. Let's see what I got for the money. Alright, seven sapphires, seven emeralds, five rubies. Five white diamonds, two red diamonds. Both gold diamonds, 94 small pearls, 61 medium pearls, 13 big pearls, adding up to 114 and a half million G. And, and we absolutely got best rank. <laughs> I like the way they distort the music for this. You apparently are in the minority on the Briscular pull pull thing, because in Tugs I've seen through I've seen at least two people say that they would keep uh they would keep the brisket. <laughs> he just shoots out of there. <laughs> Luigi laughing at Mario for once. Yeah, it... it... Luigi deserves this. Also, hey, he's relieved to have his brother back. Brother, 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 brother you look like a goddamn clown! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, our 
finally done with Luigi's Mansion, and it didn't even take us a full week. Honestly, I thought a couple of the things would take uh, a bit longer, but... I guess we just went through this faster than... Uh, than ex Let's see... Oh, I forgot. Did the save file say, like, how much time I spend on there? I'll have to double-check that. Oh, also, you may be wondering, okay, King Boo's a painting, how did he come back? Gab's a fucking idiot. <laughs> and I, I, here's, here's what happened. Someone shady bought the painting... Because Gad was having a garage sale and put it out. I forgot that was the lore. Is a demon? Oh, let's just sell that at a garage sale. Of course, someone shady is going to buy it and free King Boo. Uh, God, be like selling the lament configuration at a tag sale. Uh, what was that one law of anime that somebody wrote as a joke? Tactical geniuses aren't. <laughs> He's not even a tactical genius. Dad's just, Dad's just good at tinkering. Socially and in terms of oh. a lot of actual intelligence, he's kind of a fucking dumbass. Hold on. And so the matter of the ghosts was settled. Professor Egad was so delighted to have all of his paintings returned that he used the treasure Luigi had found to build Luigi a new house. And... Hey! That looks a pretty good! Welcome to your new mansion. Rank A! You, you, and, Dad, you and Dad got the A rank. If you were playing the European version, it'd be impossible to get the best rank on a normal playthrough due to the goal being 140 million. To get that, you'd need to play hard mode. Now, and give do you want to bring it up? Yeah? Do you want to bring it up? If you get the, wor the worst rank is a tent on top of that hill with the captain saying the mansion disappeared overnight and there was nothing left. Hmm. In all fairness, he probably didn't think anyone else would be able to release the spirits from the painting, since the booze, I think, used Gad's portrait machine to do it in this game. On the other hand, he sold paintings that contained human souls, so there's some ethics to be discussed there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like Gad. Also, though you live in a world with magic. Basically, yeah. Like, straight, no, not even basically. Bowser is straight up a wizard. Bowser, remember, the first game, Mario 1, Bowser turned all the people in the Kingdom to, into bricks magically. Matt right. is a I've... magician. Magic exists in that world. Yeah, that's true. And then there's also, of course, Magic Koopas. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I forgot that uh, Luigi's Mansion had this at, since um, I think Pikmin was in development at the time. Uh, they had a Pikmin movie on the Luigi's Mansion disc uh, as like a special feature so that you could get a preview of uh, the incoming game. Kind of like, um, I think I brought this up to you before, Forrest, but there was a while back where, like, I played a bit of, what was it, Dragon Quest VIII, and it had the, it also had a demo for Final Fantasy X. Oh, uh, yeah. You still need to get back to that game, by the way. Uh, Dragon Quest XI? I mean, I meant eight, but yes, that I, too. It's been ages since I even touched eight, and that was on, like, somebody else's PS2, so. 
That's on PS2, it's on 3DS, and you can definitely emulate it. Yeah. I'll have to I find will, I will give you, I will give you the full warning though, love. Don't throw stuff to Jessica in that game because uh that's because like I think if my students right, she's like seventeen. Damn it. <laughs> of course. I mean when she dresses like that, come on. I'm joking. I guess it's not really helped by all of her alternative outfits. Yeah, but I think that's just how Toriyama drew girls in general. <laughs> that's for real. That's that's a that was a thing for like uh oh level five entertainment in general. You always had to have the sexy outfits for the girls, no matter yeah. no matter who they were. I mean, heck, there was that recent controversy about uh, the Dragon Quest Three remake, I think it was, and how the female protagonist was, like, they were trying to get her to cover up. Oh, well, okay. That, I remember that being a case of certain classes. I think it was the Gadabout and Warrior. Yeah, I forget the specifics off the top, but... <laughs> I, mean, I can kind of, I can kind of understand wanting to change the design of the female warrior, given that they were, at, they were full on ass out in the original. Well, to some extent, yeah, but at the same time, there are some times where that's kind of the point. The kind of point that female warriors are literally wearing no clothes. Not that, but like, <sighs> let's see. Hold on. Yeah. And... Hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah, and the Japanese are not happy about it. They're literally saying, who is even complaining about this, but they know it's Westerners. Yeah. So it's basically, I guess, a culture shock thing. Change to the female warrior. I, it's like how I don't really mind the change to, uh, the design change that Maya has when you see her that one time in Dragon Quest Monsters 3. Because mm. it's like... Eh, eh, just put, just putting booty shorts on them ain't that much of a cover up. Yeah, and I think they're, when they're full on ass out in the original, I don't think putting booty shorts on is really that, especially when they're skin tone booty shorts. I mean, heck, I think even in like Final Fantasy VII, the original version just had Tifa in a white tank top, but in the remake they put a, like a black undershirt. Uh, it was a sports bra, and I personally think that fits her character a lot better. That kind of, yeah. It, it's like, there's a point where it makes sense, but there's a point when you do it often enough, and it's like, okay, you guys are getting a bit eh. control happy. Eh. I still right. need to change what they got about, though. It'd be... Uh. It I want to see what they do to the Gadabout, because the, Gad the female Gadabout is literally supposed to be a Playboy bunny. I want to see how they fucking censor a Playboy bunny. Uh, they'll find a way. I want to see it. <laughs> Alright. Well, um, let's see. It's only a little over an hour since we started. Uh... They censored the cleavage and removed the liquor bottle. Oh, come on! It's Yu-Gi-Oh! It's Yu-Gi-Oh censorship! Women having breasts? Perish the thought! And yet they still allowed designs like Burstinatrix, who, you know, they did... No, love, no. I was... You know, they covered up half of her body. No, I, I, was, I was making the joke. Ah, <laughs> I was just about to say, they literally just slapped a can of red paint on half of her body and called it a day. Pretty much. Oh, I forgot that detail! On the file select screen, uh, under which file would you like to load, you see Welcome to Your Mansion, and then after a bit, you see the oh, Y yeah. disappear, so it says Welcome to Our Mansion. Yeah, I do want to bring up, speaking of your censorship, the dumbest censorship ever was, I believe, on the, the Unhappy Maiden she had, like, I want to say, A-cup breasts in the Japanese version. They made her literally as flat as a board in the dub. 
in the uh, in, in the uh, TCG version. It's like, I mean, come on. At that point, you're literally just anti-breast. You're not even like, you're not even trying to like make it so that it's safe for kids to play. You're literally just being anti-women's body. <laughs> like, they're not even allowed to have a cup breasts. Oh wait! It's like it's even exposed. She's wearing a blue dress. <laughs> oh wait, Yu-Gi-Oh! Never mind. What I said was another Dragon Quest. No, 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 no. She was using Yu-Gi-Oh! as an example because their censorship is kind of. Yu-Gi-Oh's. You again? Every fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! card that's a woman has to be censored in some way. It gets ridiculous sometimes. Uh, what was the other type of censorship that Yu-Gi-Oh had? Something about the Ankh and like religious symbol, uh, yeah, symbolry. It's always religious imagery or sexual imagery. I think one of my favorites was the uh, Avatar of Greed. Excuse me, which is like a big buff brain man with a pot of greed head. Excuse me. In the Japanese version, he's just wearing a god piece. Oh God. <laughs> I think they give him like an actual loincloth when bring it to the TCG. I can't. it's like you know at the very least it's it's equal censorship. But yeah. I kind of want to see how people, how parents in America will react to the cod piece. Oh God, uh, bad enough that the Ojamas wear what they wear. <laughs> Do not remind me of those abominations! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, I feel like the censorship people in the uh, Konami of America just threw their hands up when they saw the Ojamas. They're like, how the fuck we censor this? <laughs> Do we just ban them outright? But then people wouldn't enjoy the game! Also, they're used by a character in the anime! You know, you, you know what? In in that case, in didn't really care about the GXMA didn't really care about censorship, given that that uh, show also has the original artworks for Monster Reborn and Dan Kito, the Kira Master, where we where we get to see like a, a near nip slip on Dan Kito. You you know you know what my um my solution to that problem would be. Uh, <laughs> Force them into a stalemate. Do set them up like set them up like that in ways that they can't do anything, and you're like tough shit. Yeah, tough shit. E either, either you're gonna leave this uncensored. It's not gonna be edited, so people can actually enjoy it, or you're gonna lose a shit ton of money because we're not gonna do business with you. I'm also. A bit flabbergasted on the fact that they decided to censor the cleavage on the Gadabout. They didn't censor the cleavage on Jade in 11. Jade has two different Playboy Bunny outfits, and they don't censor her cleavage. And also, let's not forget, legs. That leg, yeah, I mean, yeah, Jade has legs for days. <laughs> like, one of the moments yeah, that I've... Legs. Like, like, well, Lens with AIDS describes a lot of women in Dragon Quest. Well, I'm just saying, did Toriyama it... had a type. Tor Toriyama definitely had a type. I mean, you had Bulma with her butt, you had Jade with her legs, you have Android 18 with her literally everything. Yep. I bet, I bet, I bet Toriyama just wanted to be Krillin. <laughs> Toyama didn't discriminate either. Remember, remember, Vegeta was caked up too. <laughs> Am I wrong? The... Tell me I'm wrong. I think there was a meme that Broly was too. <laughs> yes, he is. And Chilai and. Well, I mean, Chilai. <laughs> Videl and her. Uh... And the fact she's always wearing like bike bike shorts. Apparently, with Chilai, it's a meme or something about her uh, tugging on that elastic Saiyan armor stuff. Yeah, 
Well, Frieza Force Armor, really. Frieza Force Armor. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. That armor type. Yeah. They, they knew. The moment the animators got her character design, they fucking knew. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Dell who during every pretty much in every scene she's in in, in uh, Z she's wearing biker shorts, like you know those tight bike shorts. You you know, I just realized a girl named wow. Chilai, but she's green. I have a feeling that was a missed opportunity to call her Wasabi. Because that thing with the the armor tug would have been spicy. Damn it, I knew you were going there. I knew you were going there. <laughs> yeah, Toyama definitely had a type. Toyama likes boobs, butts, and legs. And if we were to assume, you know, he had similar tastes to Goku and Vegeta, he likes them the strong-willed type. Yeah, he he likes them. He likes them spicy. But I guess uh, you, he shares with you, doesn't he? With how spicy you can be. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Let's see, we're done with Luigi's Mansion. I guess I'll play a couple of other games... Um, over the next couple of days, and they'll just be like one shots. Uh, I still time for the stream. Yeah. Uh, I might just switch over to another game. I could. Hmm. I could do a. I could do a little more Mega Man X dive offline. Was this a? I'm trying to remember, was this the poll game? Or was... what was it? Oh no, this was the game that, like, I was going to play anyway. Okay, what was the poll game? Um, it was Crash, Crash. Bandicoot Crash Bandicoot 2, I believe. I, I remember they read the end, it's like, oh yeah, it was Crash. I was, think, I was thinking of saving that until, like, the Tuesday evening stream. Because, let's see, Monday I would have a Mega Man stream, Tuesday afternoon would be the um, fighting game Dojo stream, which this month is still Mortal Kombat. Why not tomorrow? Huh? Why not tomorrow? Today's Saturday, so you would have, you could do Sunday, Stardust Crash. Well, yeah, but then it would be interrupted with the Monday and Tuesday streams. It was, it I would have anyways. No. It's only one or two streams before that, so. Let's see. Fine. Uh. Alright. Well, uh, let me go ahead and. Actually, maybe if I could switch to another. GameCube game, at least. Uh, yeah. You want to stop the current emulation? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah while doing this, I guess while doing this, I can talk about my favorite designs in Dragon Quest. Very character designs, both men and women. And I mean, hmm. first one that always comes to mind. Actually, no. It's, it's just... twofold. Yeah. It's both from Dragon Quest Four. It's Ragnar from Chapter 1 and Elena from Chapter 2. Elena being a childhood video game crush of mine. Oh, yeah. Because I, I, too, I, too, like them spicy. <laughs> I do... Uh, granted, I don't have much uh, knowledge of the Dragon Quest franchise as a whole, but I remember hearing about... Um, this one particular weapon, I forget which game had it, but um, it was something called the Stylish Scissors. I don't remember that. I I remember, what was it? There, I remember hearing there was one Dragon Quest game that had, like, this giant pair of scissors uh, that would 
be mounted on your character's arm. And apparently that weapon was the inspiration for um, uh, Sundowner from okay. Metal Gear Rising. Okay. You you got the name wrong. Styler Scissors from Terraria. What you're thinking of is the sizable scissors. That's the one. I, I knew they had the alliteration thing. It is in... It's in the only fucking Dragon Quest to never come to America all fucking times! It's in Dragon Quest Ten. Go fucking figure. Uh... <sighs> come on, Square. Give us ten already. If they're gonna... You're literally <sighs> about to get Dragon Quest Twelve. If they're gonna keep giving us games that are technically like remakes, why not give them give us games of why not give us remakes of games that never made it stateside in the first place? I feel like that would have been a cash cow there. The problem is is that ten was the MMO. Ah. Uh, okay. That kinda makes sense. But like at this point, I mean, there's so many different mods people have made to have it in English. They could just give it to us. Ah, it's that not, looks... I know it would take some work. I know it would take some work, but there's such a demand for it. Gah! Professional! I'm just trying to move it! Freaking, ugh. There. Ragnar McRyan, I've sent you his uh, concept art. As concept art, official art, whatever. I'm not trying. Yes. He ha yes, he has a giant blue mustache. Okay, that's hilarious. Oh, my, I'm talking a little bit like this. Trying to go for the the opposite of Wilford Wharf stash. Because <laughs> I think his is pink. <laughs> Ragnar is the game's mighty glacier, you know, high attack and defense, go low speed, no magic. There we go. Okay. No MP, no MP period, because Dragon Quest IV was from before uh, scales were a thing. I, I believe that was a Dragon Quest VI that introduced that. Uh, let's they see. They uh, scales, like... Stuff that uses MP outside of magic. So unfortunately, Ragnar can't use shit, can't use anything like Miracle Slash or Falcon Slash. Unfortunately, although I, I guess it's a good thing that he can't get Miracle Slash because imagine him being able to heal himself. That would be pretty good. Oh, hold on. Oh, by the way, a couple other things about Luigi's Mansion I'd like to point out. In the European version, when fighting Bulosis, Luigi rides the Poltergeist instead of walking. And when King Boo says, I will not give up my favorite decoration, I like Mario just where he is, he is actually quoting Jabba the Hutt, who says the same thing about Solo. I remember that! Uh, so, also, I should bring up something. Uh, I mean, how old do you think Ragnar is? Just judging off of his look. Just judging off of his look? I'd have to look. Uh, there he is. Um... He looks about late middle age, so I would say somewhere in his late 40s, early 50s. What if I told you he's your age? What? He is 35. Oh, God. <laughs> Time is not kind to Ragnar. He also kind of reminds me of um, Maximilian from Suikoden. Kind of, yeah. All right. Uh... Yeah. Uh, Oop. time for Elena. Oop! Air Force stages! Sarevna Elena. I can never fucking pronounce that properly. I've been- I've been playing the game for 
Oh, over a decade at this point, I still can't fucking say Serezna. There we go, I finally oh. did. Here you are! The next stage is... The next stage is Air Force! It's the Air Force in Mega Man X4! That was close. I'll do the navigation just fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'll leave it to you. I'm glad you're helping. Player? It's an air fortress with air fleet and turrets. Make sure you stay on your toes. If you find the enemies overwhelming, return to the base for enhancement. So this is their way to redo um, Storm Owl stage in X4, so... Whoop. Going through the franchise. Uh, I don't know anything about Dragon Quest 5, but Dragon Quest 6. Uh, I can remember a couple. Uh, yes! Yes! Okay, so. That one almost snuck up on me. There are three character designs that I love from Dragon Quest VI. We've got the main character, whose name I forget. All their names, by the way, other than one of them. That's the wrong person. That is the wrong person. That is the wrong, 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 wrong. Ah, crap! Ooh, save that. Just, he's basically just blue haired trunks or Gohan. Whatever. Don't ah, dang it. Well, thankfully, this game's a bit more generous than the OG Mega Man X games because, as opposed to outright dying, if you fall into a bottomless pit, you just lose some health. <laughs> There's two of them. Uh, Over, not one of the designs I like. I find his outfit to be fucking bizarre. An outfit I do uh... like. An outfit I do like is on everyone's favorite wear fucker. Uh, I don't know what to call him. He's like a dog, but he doesn't turn into a wolf. He turns into a fucking drackle. Uh, Amon. Alright, let's see. Uh, that, that's that's smug grin on Amon. He knows he's the best party member. <laughs> really is. Cause like, for one, uh, no matter what class you make him, he has the metamorph the metamorphized uh, skill. Which lets him turn into the boss that he fought him as when initially and do massive damage. Albeit at the cost of becoming uncontrollable until he turns back. He's a damn good choice for the Monster Master class. So he's just a great debuffer. While being a brute force character. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how good he is. And of course, they gave they gave him the coolest fucking fit out of all the men too. There we go. See what we got. Ooh, command mission X memory. So we actually got the uh, memory pieces for uh, that skin. Alright. 
Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and... Analyze a couple chips. Uh, let's start leveling them up. <laughs> there's no plate seven and there's only one I can think of whose design I really like this is not going to fucking surprise you in the least if anything you, you know exactly exactly why I like this character's design uh... it's, it's, it's Angelo Oh, my yep. second male, my second male video game crush. It's yeah. fucking obvious to see why. He kind of reminds me of um, what's his name? Raphael from uh, Soul Calibur. He kind of yeah, yeah. Might be because uh, he's basically dressed and built like a fencer. Mm, it's kind of it's kind of what he is. Angelo is a priest type character, so you know. Lights in medium armor, uh, some swords, some stabs, all that stuff. Oh, my out of. I am. Light magic. And I don't need to go over the Dragon Quest XI designs. I like. It's ob It's obviously Serena and Hendrix. And, uh. Giovanna. Giovanna. But uh, yeah, Serena and Hendrick because I mean, let me say it. Hot. <laughs> and yes, I can say that about Serena because she's nineteen. Yep, yeah, fair. Honestly, all the all the potential relationships with the hero in that party are weird because everyone is an adult other than the hero. The hero is the only one who's a minor. Boggles my mind and people are like, oh the hero should end up with Jade. Jade's nine years older than him and has more of a big sister relationship with him anyways. I think people ship the hero and Hendrick. Hendrick is twice his age! Duffer. Cause yes, Hendrick is also 35! Uh, please don't make me yeah. feel older than I already am. <laughs> you think Hendrick looks old? I I'm just uh, the the whole thing with the perspective you're giving, it's just the fact that one of the old, the fact that one of the older characters is the same age as me. That's Are just. Are you saying Hendrick looks old? <laughs> just. Uh... I mean, Hendrick is probably the hottest character in the franchise. Come at me! <laughs> He's gonna. God. <laughs> You, I, you walked right into that one. <laughs> you, you get a my case for these jokes. <laughs> yeah, well, you're yeah, not. Hendrick, you're not Hendrick, the host. No. What? You're not the host. This. Yeah, both Hendrick designs from before his redemption and after his redemption. <laughs> uh. 
Alright, let's see. Uh... Do, 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 do. And, uh, oh. yeah, you, you fuckers tell me if Hendrik is hot or not. Setting, pouring full to his fucking designs in the D, in the Dragon Quest channel. Oh, do they give us max stars on this, on the offline version? I remember it was kind of a gotcha in itself, making these armor parts. And I don't have access to the advanced parts because I'm guessing I don't have any of the hyperbolts. And no, and, and no, the fact that Hendrik is a good six foot ten does not factor into how hot I find him. All right, let me take a look. Like every other party member in the game is only up to Hendrik's chest. That man is definitely well over six feet. And he wears a goatee better than I ever could. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say, I guess it's partly because, like I've mentioned before, I have more of a baby face. I don't think a goatee would look that good on me at all because of that. Yeah. Ooh, I forgot about this. Uh, right. I somehow always forget about the cards. Uh, excuse me. Classy. <laughs> I'm your classy, classy dragon queen. I mean, you certainly praise me like I'm a queen, at least. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of... Alright, let's see. Um, do, do, do. Hendrick is so hot! He does look pretty cool, yeah. He's so hot! Uh, oh, right! I need, I need to move on to my waifu. <laughs> oh, yes. As opposed to your husbando. You've probably seen her in the game, actually. She's the uh, girl in the green dress. Uh, this one. Oh, uh, yes, her. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've seen her. I think uh, in... My game of uh, Dragon Quest XI that I need to get back to. Uh, I believe I have her in my party. She is so pretty. She's a, and she's got a good bit of sass, and yeah, I just I like her. Uh, let's see. Someone drew her in a bikini! God! They would. Excuse me while I'm having a very bisexual, pansexual panic over here. A panic Why? attack? Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! God, why are video game characters always so hot? Ugh, if that ain't a mood and a half. God, I'm just going back, I'm just going back to Rune Factory 5 now and how EVERYONE IN THAT GAME IS SEXY! Like, there's not a couple of characters, I'm not... There's a couple of, there's a couple of kid characters in that game, I ain't saying shit about them. All the marriage candidates are sexy. And some of the non-marriage candidates are sexy, like Misasagi. Cause, you know, Rune Factory apparently makes the best MILFs. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see what some of the weapons are. <laughs> the brush talk, how I say it makes the best milfs. Meanwhile, three different people I know 
just like sneeze as they are milk hunters. <laughs> Alright. Oh! We have access to events now. Right. Uh, armor enhancement. Uh, so, this is basically the bonus stuff that we had to do in um, X Dive. Uh, let's see. I will not go down alone! Alright, uh, do do do. Swipe, 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 swipe. Ah, crap. Well, all the reports can't sexual panic corner. We're just so over how, how there's so many new characters that are making clusters. <laughs> Everyone is just like, there are so, so many hot people in gaming. Everyone is sexy! <laughs> you know, you know for fact in the porn parody of Lego Movie that is a song. That would be a different meaning to bricked up. <laughs> rank uh, I believe the next level up I open up the next challenge but uh, these they used to be your daily challenges uh. You've mentioned Orin. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not talking about Fall Fantasy yet. I mean, to be fair, if I'm I look. Talk about Fall Fantasy. Talk about Fall Fantasy. We're gonna be jumping around a lot. You haven't gotten into the uh, Fire Emblem franchise, have you? No, because I don't like Parmadas. You know what? Fair. I would say stick to the more recent uh, Fire Emblem games. I believe starting at Awakening, they had a casual mode where you don't have permadeath. Well, that 
Chris, what the fuck are you doing? Daddy? Hold on. Moderate a regular day that's spotted ahead. Be careful. I got pinged in the I got pinged in the server. Oh. Uh both. I, I, I mean Pox is like, okay, this one? Like, I mean they're both sexy. Oh, he thought you meant um what's her? I thought I meant Serena. I mean Serena's also hot, let's be real. She is pretty. You bring up that the she's the one who has the dancer's costume? Let's see. Can we pour her in an Arabian Nights style dancer costume? For one of her, uh, costumes? Oh, right, they had those. Yeah. Ooh, okay, how do I get that? I think I know how. But first... It, it hurts me so much that her... That two of her hottest outfits are locked toward... Locked behind the stupid fucking time travel bullshit in the after game. Ah, freaking! Devil dress for her. I can't get her the little devil's dress. Alright, what's up here? This guy! The player at the east is RT55J! RT55J! The times! He is RT55J. He can freely extend its arms, so he's not easy to deal with. He was a Yokozuna tier Rikishi, but he gets astounding leaping power. Never let your guard down! Ah, crap. God, you know what I wish now? I... Because, like, all those female pictures get swimsuit outfits, kinda. I wish they put Hendrick in a swimsuit. <laughs> Pull me the speedo, you fucking cowards! God damn it. This is quite unexpected. The decisive blow works out. The player wins. That's a success! Good job, player! Even he became a regular data. He lived up to the spirit of Rikishi. Or Rikishi, so he should have our respect. Uh, I just found some terms I've never heard of. Do you know much about sumo? Tell me if you know. I think that's what the, uh, this guy was talking about. Alright, let's see. And we now unlocked Dive Trigger Enhancement Stage. Resetting X database. This one, it, this one, I found basically the easiest of the batch. Well, kind of. It would be either. Okay, 
Oh. In Digimon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, going poorly. My Otis one. My Otis one? I mean, to be fair. You've seen, you seen Ghost Game. you seen Human for My Otis one. How fucking hot they made him. I mean, it'd be hypocritical of me to say that when there are Digimon like, I don't know, Anti Woman, Sakuyamon. Yeah, this one's basically the easiest. You can move around, but honestly, I like just standing here where all the enemies are going and just holding down the attack button for with a with a sword weapon. Cuz I mean, all all the enemies are making their way over to this fire pit anyway. Also, Which one? It does not help that they never let him wear a shirt. Oh, yeah. Alright, last wave. If I remember right, it's only ever seven waves of these enemies in this challenge, but uh, what changes as the difficulty increases is the health of each enemy, if I remember right. MSO could probably confirm it. And there we go, got 100%, so I got the best rank. Ooh, I got a lot of stuff there. Let's see. Uh, 15 electric spark memories. Uh, 13 sub tank memories. 15 ray arrow memories. And 13 crescent shot memories.
<laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Mmm, 111 slices of cheese. Let's see. Do -do -do. <laughs> I just saw the memes that Pyrex posted put in the the D, D channel. Have to make a crest for a noble family. Make it a sunrise because it looks cool. It's the house of the rising sun. Here we go. Uh doo -doo. All right, there's that. Okay. Ah, <laughs> Is there anything down here? Nope! Dang it! I forgot. I forgore. How silly of you to forgore. Oh god! Almost got smushed. Oh right, the part with uh, blocks that they, for some reason, stole from Magnus Centipede stage. They did love that, they did. Yeah. Here. Let's see, yep, okay. Yeah. 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 Hey, do Let's see, do do. Hey, do Zenny stage is now unlocked. So now we have one of the formerly daily challenge stages where we can just get a shit ton of money. <laughs> I finally have access. Yeah. Hacks. I call hacks. Horus. That's the joke. I know, love. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm coming to you at this moment, and I believe you know well what I'm going to say. Rico. Hey, Rico, you should be doing your navigator duty. <clears throat> My apologies. Let's get back to the topic. Large irregular data spotted ahead. Huh. Huh? She's been leading the player and now she's playing riddles? I say, that's pretty rude. This is my way. This is my way. 
Rico's way. boss do we have in here? Chill Penguin! Which, I don't know what he's doing in Storm Owl stage, but... Yeah. He was a Maverick Hunter from the 13th Polar Region unit. Chill Penguin has flexible thought circuits in order to perform missions with his small body. But due to the other co-workers can't understand his thoughts, so they consider him as a troublemaker. Oops. That's not what I... Uh... That's the Chill Penguin! Even though I was prepared, but the eight major bosses from Mega Man X have become irregular data! Uh. Locations, the opponents, everything is messed up. Looks like the data is a mess. <laughs> Shut up! You interfere with us in, with your very presence! Hey, did you hear what he just said? These irregular data can understand us. <laughs> you actually pissed off this guy, that's a pain in the butt! Nah. Now that you're tired of life at the North Pole, but... Did you really have to come to a place where you didn't fit in at all? What a horrible guy! This player will be first, and I'm going to turn you into a hockey park! Stop, Priya. You've been called out. Be careful, this penguin isn't like the penguins in the beginning, and it isn't that easy to take down. Yes. Repairs of the irregular data has been completed. Great job! Ooh, it's quite cold. Let's return to the base. Air Force, stage clear. Yee. Uh. I guess I'll just do that uh, Zenny stage and then we can call it here. Uh, let's see. Let's first do some collection. Uh. All right. Uh, what can we get from the store? New items are now available. Yay. Okay. So forest. Yes, love? You've called me out for being horny on this game, right? When I got uh, Merino yes. and Layer, I think it was? Yes. There's a character from, I believe, Mega Man X Command Mission who's, um... <clears throat> uh, let... Send the art my way. Uh, no need if you're looking at... If you can look at the stream. <laughs> you know it's going to take a sec. Yeah. It's going to take me a sec to prep. Uh, is there anything I could do for the limited? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, I can get Copy X from Mega Man Zero. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna hop on to look. All right. So, uh, character prep. Character. Let's get copy X from the Mega Man Zero series. Who in this armor actually looks really cool? Uh... Add! Add. I swear 
I turned those off? Uh, I'm ready. All right. Well, so I just unlocked Copy X. The armor looks pretty cool. But the other character that I just set up for unlocking is from Mega Man X Command Mission, Faram. You gonna take a sec to catch up? So? Uh, see for yourself. I see, I see her. Yeah, not normally my type, but uh, a lot of guys are apparently into her, apparently. It's not disproving my point that you are horny on the game. Like I said, it's a gotcha game. What did you expect? And I haven't even gotten into the seasonal skins with these characters. Because some of them do have seasonal skins. I know, because <laughs> remember, John played this. <laughs> Swimsuit layer. And then, what was it? Uh, both Alia and um, Layer also got bridal variants. Eh. And Marino got a Halloween skin. Uh, you know what? Uh, let me see if I can find those now. Uh, oh! Alia has a pretty one for uh, White Day. She, she pretty. And then... Swimsuit layer, here it is. They even gave her jiggle physics. they're horny like you. Listen, robot girls are a market, okay? <laughs> that's, not, that's not a defense, love. That's not a defense. I didn't say it was. I'm just saying it's a market. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. MSO brings up the Virgin Marino Halloween alt, which she basically okay, just... With the, with the color of her hair, it looks like she's basically just an alternate costume for Morrigan from Darkstalkers. Uh, like, imagine if Morrigan got more into kind of streetwear. Tell me when there's some hot guy robots. Um. <clears throat> File looks pretty cool, both normal and in his Halloween variant. I'm good on that. Looking like Vampire Boba Fett here. Uh, let's see. Halloween Ale is pretty cute. Go from me being thirsty, I mean, to you being <laughs> It balances out. By the way, when the Halloween vial was first released, he was the only character at the time who could self-heal. I forgot about that. So, intriguing. Oh yeah, there's, um, Iris Another. It was basically, you know how in Fate you had the normal characters and then you had their altars? Yeah. This was basically Iris's altar. 
or as, or as I like to call it, oh no, she's hot! Let's see. I've lost my mind. <laughs> We've established this already. You shut up. <laughs> Okay. You want you want an older guy? Doctor Light, the martial artist. Let's <laughs> 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 <Nice> try, love. <laughs> Seriously though, if I remember right, in the Archie Mega Man comics, um, it turns out Doctor Light is fucking ripped, in spite of his old age. Iro. Basically, Iro. Okay. Hmm. So you've mentioned having a thing for older men. I get that. What about Some high school delinquents? Hmm. No. Not your thing. Hmm. The, the high school players especially. Oh, that's a shame because I thought this was a badass look for Sigma. I see Easter Roll, she was actually quite possibly the best character in terms of speed. The amount of speed buffs you could stack on her was crazy, and the floating Easter Eggs provided a great defense slash auto attack against enemies. Uh, yeah. I never really did make much use of Easter Roll at all, honestly. I was told that she was better at the speed runs than um, even Marino was. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. There are a couple more I would get to, but they're a bit uh, spoilery, so I think I'll save those for later. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah! Colonel's a playable character in this game. No, 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 no. Colonel from X4. Okay. Which I mean... He looks like an older man, he's a swordsman. And what do you think about men in uniform? Men in uniform are hot. Huh? Uniforms in general can be just hot. Yeah. I remember him... Ugh. Being, I remember him being. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I guess I walked myself into that one. I, I still want to see you in fatigues. Uh, I don't know if mine even fit anymore, or if I even still probably have them. Pro probably not. But I would love to see you in uh, a set, anyways. Oh God. Oh yeah, and on the topic of Sigma, I remember due to all the female swimsuit characters, people would make jokes about wanting to see Sigma in a Speedo. One guy even drew him in a banana hammock. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just imagining... Now, now I'm just imagining that bit from Borat, but with Sigma's face. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it. We're a little over time, anyways. Um, is <laughs> you keep getting stuck? Uh, let's see. Is Sky still on? 
Yes, he is. Yeah. Um. Ugh. <laughs> well, as I was about to say, if you can hear me, can you? Barely. Now, can you hear me? Yeah. I was about to say, put more video game men in swimsuits. Give the straight ladies and gay men some eye candy, too. <laughs> put more. Look, more video game, game men need to be put in hot outfits. I so, what you're saying is you would want Sigma in a Speedo. <laughs> I mean, have you seen the guy's build? He's built like freaking... What's his name? Larry the Lobster from Spongebob. He's even got the giant-ass forearms. <laughs> now I'm a jerk and everybody loves me! That's the joke. Uh, you know what? Let's finish up with the Dead Man's Party references regarding Luigi's Mansion. Hey. Uh, the raid message. There's maybe room. Er, there's room for maybe just one more. Here on the dance floor? No, 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 no. The the line was like, uh, I hear the chauffeur coming to my door. Says there's room for maybe just one more. I was struck by lightning walking down the street. I was hit by something last night in my sleep. It's a dead man's party. Who could ask for more? Everybody's coming. Leave your body at the door. Leave your body and soul at the door. All right. Okay. What? <laughs> it's a good song. No bones about it. Nah. 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 <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and read Sky. I guess tomorrow's stream uh, will be random. I don't know. I don't know what I'll be playing. Um, Monday, we'll be playing more X-Dive Offline, I guess. Uh, and then Tuesday will be uh, Mortal Kombat 1 in the afternoon for the Fighting Game Dojo stream. And then in the evening, we'll get started on Crash Bandicoot 2. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Let's go ahead and raid.